This video will cover the topic, evaluating functions, linear and quadratic, or cubic. Let's take a look at the following example. In order to begin this problem, we need to substitute our numbers in for the x variable at the corresponding equations. So, would we substitute 6 into x in the equation of negative 4x plus 2, and negative 3 into the equation of negative 3x cubed minus 2? Yes. We can begin first by substituting the 6 in for x in our first equation, then we can multiply negative 4 and 6 to result in negative 24, and after adding 2, the total we result in is negative 22. We can then substitute negative 3 into x for our second equation of negative 3x cubed minus 2. We begin by cubing the negative 3 to become negative 27, then multiply it by negative 3 to result in 81. Finally, we subtract 2 from 81 to result in 79. Okay, so let me get this straight. We begin by substituting the numbers given into the corresponding equations, and then we follow the order of operations to simplify the equation and get our final results for the equations. That is correct. 